Hello and welcome to Quasi's Bell Tower with your host, Quasi. And today we're going to be opening up the June RPG crate. So let's get to it. So first we have our t-shirt, which is right here. Really nice. Let me get my beard out of the way. Um, this looks familiar. It looks, I, I know we got something with this design before. So this kind of looks like almost like a rehash of something they've done before. But of course, this is still a pretty cool shirt. So let's get to it and let's open this RPG crate. Okay. Um, so the first, this is, like I said, once again, the June RPG crate called Wondrous Power. Um, we'll come back to this and we'll get to it. I also heard that they are some new stuff in this box. Um, new vendors. So let's see what this is all about. Okay. Okay. Well, this isn't what I thought it would be. Um, it's definitely not miniatures. But it's like uh, statues or something. One of these is an eagle it looks like um, a butterfly or um, a dragonfly I'm thinking maybe a butterfly but I, I, I'm not sure it looks like a dragonfly to me um, kind of looks like a lion or a bear I'll put up some close-ups of these guys so you guys can see them better um, I'm just trying to figure out what this is and my last piece, oh, which is just lovely, guys. It's broke. It's an elephant, of course, but the legs are broken. Man, that sucks. I hope it wasn't broke before RPG sent it, which I'm sure it wasn't. So it broke as it was bouncing around, which it shouldn't have because it looks like it was in there uh, pretty comfortably. So uh, I have some legs I guess I have to uh, super glue back together. Well, that kind of stinks. Jeez. So this is must be the new vendor they were talking about. Um, no miniature this time, so that's a real disappointment. Um, next we have more coloring pencils. Guys, stop with the colored pencils. We're not 10 years old. We don't need these. Okay, so next we have... Um, our cards and this one I think is supposed to be uh, looks like we got a couple recipe cards maybe yeah it looks like it um, first one recipe uh, for traveling the plains lion steak kebabs uh, looks pretty interesting got a card on there got a little quest so we'll check that out um, encounters for the adventures okay um, devilish egg so another recipe Dragonfly Stir Fry. So, another so the last and final card is called Elephant Ears. Um, another recipe card from them. So there's four recipe cards. So I'm assuming something with the dragonfly, the, I don't know about the devilish eggs, uh, the lion and the elephant. So that is a lion I'm assuming. Um, have something to do with these recipe cards. Maybe something with the adventures too, but we'll find out next. So now we have our adventures. Um, Devil's Head Bluff. There's that. And then the, event, the adventure on back. Uh, Gravehelm Stronghold. There's that. Nothing really on the back. And a Tempest. And that is that and that. Um, so next we have... The Wilderness Mapping Booklet. Uh, 40 pages of hand-drawn grids. Oh man, another one of these grid things. Not this again, guys. Um, I'm sure it has to do something with the quests and all that. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Just just from that right there, the, uh, the Dark Elf there. That looks really cool. At least it looks like a Dark Elf. Um, that's cool. Uh, like I said, I haven't done any of these ventures yet. I've been too busy to do anything. Um, but it looks like that's all it is, is where I can use the color pencils to uh, color in my adventures or whatever else. Uh, 
I'm not too happy with this right here, but you know, it's not the first time they've done it. Probably won't be the last time. Uh, the cover art on this is quite nice though. Um, so uh, that's it guys. Let's go over this and see what else, if we missed anything at all. Um, we have the t-shirt, which I like. Um, the figures of power. Okay. Um, the dragon foam, which is really just inside the box. The recipes for the adventure, you get four of those. Um, the open road mapping booklet, uh, which was this. The adventures on the open road, which were the adventure cards that we got. Um, and some download stuff, which I last time I knew it still was not updated on any of that stuff. Uh, so that's it, guys. Um, honestly, my thought on this box set is kind of really disappointing. One, because... We didn't get a mini uh, pewter miniature at all, which please do not tell me, guys, that you're not working with Epping Cool Miniatures anymore, because if not, I might not subscribe anymore, because I really kind of kept this going, because I like the adventures and everything else, but I also like the pewter figures you get once a month. You know, at, with the money we're spending, we should be getting some pewter figurines. Um, I'm kind of really disappointed that this broke. I know it's probably not their fault. It's probably the U.S. Postal Service that is why it broke. Um, but there's nothing I can do about that. But I really, really don't like these, even though I know they have to do with probably the adventures. It just makes sense. Um, once again, guys, I understand you're always wondering about, you know, new people that join in and, you know, they didn't get no color pencils with their booklet or whatever else. But I think this is like the second or third set now or whatever these I've gotten and I don't need any more. Um, so if I had to grade this, even though we get four cards and we got the adventures and everything else, I, I, this, the, the, the mapping booklets, I mean, I understand there's a concept behind it and everything else. I really don't want that, um, or I really don't like that. So honestly, I'm going to give this, you know, I don't want to give it a really, really bad grade, even though I probably should, um, but I'm going to give it a C minus. I'm at least give it still a passing grade uh, because I like the shirt still and, you know, everything else is okay. So I'm going to give it a C, but don't disappoint me again, boys. Please do not get rid of the effing cool miniatures. So that's it guys, till next time.